thanks for watching and welcome to a new video so i started this video um just to tell you where i am and what's just happened here now so uh i sold a mower uh, a couple of days ago to a, a couple of people i delivered it to them anyway i've um their first maiden voyage out the belt snapped on it <coughs> so i said yeah no problem um you know, I'll uh, turn around, I've got a spare belt in my car, um, if you want, you know, and I'll bring it to you or whatever. He said, no, no, it's fine, you know, if these things happen, I'll try and get a belt, or if you can send one up in the post. So I said, yeah, I sent it up in the post on the on the Monday, because this was on the weekend. Um, he got a new belt on it, put a new belt on it, and he's been cutting with it, and he says, no, it's, it's, it's um, not good enough, if you know what I mean. Anyway what's happened is he's bought a domestic mower for a commercial use and the land he's got is a bit too hard for the mower he's bought anyway um so he said look you know do you, do you want to buy it back i don't want it i'm happy to take a loss on it i was like well i felt really bad you know so when i sent him up a mower belt i sent him a free leaf blower i packed up a leaf blower and i said look have that as well you've been nice people sorry about the inconvenience that the belt snapped and everything um Anyway, he said he put a new belt on it. Anyway, he snapped the belt himself, he said. So what I did was um, I sent him up a free leaf blower and a new belt. And I said, look, I do apologise. On the Monday, I got a message saying, look, do you want to buy it back? This is not, it's not good enough for us, really. We needed a, a bigger and better machine. I said, yeah, I've got bigger and better machines, but obviously the more money. Um, and they said, no, no, you know like it's just not going to be good enough we can't afford that much money and all the rest of it we'll just get our other one fixed and i was like yeah no problem that's fine i said well if, if i want it back they paid 850 for the mower i said look for me to buy it back you know you'd be better off buying it yourself like selling it on yourself and getting the full value for it and um they come down to it now so anyway i said well look you know if i wanted to buy it back, i'd only give you four to five hundred for it to buy it back and they agreed. They said, yeah, no problem. We're happy to take a loss. You know, we, we're a bit of like our mistake sort of thing. We bought the wrong machine. Anyway, so I've turned up now just to come and pick the mower back up, feeling really bad. I thought, you know, you'd be better selling it yourself. And so anyway, I turned up and there's a, a son here and he's turned around. And he's like, oh, it's not fit for purpose and all this. And I thought, hang on, this is a bit strange. So I started the mower up the belt. He put on it. It has burnt out slightly. So what I did is I started it up and I, and I thought, can I just have a, try on there and he said yeah yeah no problem so I've, I've gone and cut in the grass that he had and it's cutting fine it's working fine so i was proving a point that there's nothing wrong with my machine it's a case of this gone wrong and he said right well uh, yeah sort the money out anyway and i thought this is a bit strange what's going on anyway so i said look you know what i did say I, i'd give you 500 quid back i don't really even want it back you know i've sold it but um so i've given him his 500 quid back anyway he's turned around and he's gone oh well you're not having your mower I was like, what do you mean you're not having your mower? And he went, oh, well, no, you give us 850 back um, or you're not getting your mower. And I was like, what? That's not what we agreed. And I was like, I've just given you 500. So as I'm going to get, I was like, well, I'll just have me 500 quid back then. As I've done that, he's got no, you go in the house. She's ran off with the money and he's jumped on the mower and drove off. And I was like, what? And he was like, well, the mower doesn't leave here till you give me the full money. You rip me off. You're ripping me mum off and all this. She's got cancer. I was like, no, I wasn't ripping you off. I said, I tried to be nice about it. I sent you a free leaf blower and I wasn't trying to rip anybody off. If it's the wrong machine, it's the wrong machine. You know, mistakes can be made, but it wasn't my fault. I didn't know how much land you had. You, That's the mower you requested. It was working. And I've just gone and shown you it working on your land. So there's obviously not a problem with the mower. Um, yeah, so now he's like, well, you, less there's 800 quid comes back here, you're not having your mower back, you're ripping us off, you know, how can you get away with this sort of stuff, and just gone off on one, and gone in the house, and I'm, I haven't actually got any more money with me, so, um, he was like, we'll have to send it on bank transfer, and I thought, I'm not doing this, I thought, I'm not having it, so anyway, so I've just rang me, rang me brother, and a couple of mates, and they're, uh, on their way down, you know, and I said, no, not having it, you know, you, you just ripped me off, and you've done it in a way where you let me hand the money over, and then held the mower away, you know, thinking these were amicable people, this is the sort of stuff you're up to, and my mates, well, my brother and my mates are about an hour away, 
Anyway, he said, we'll, we'll get off the land. I was like, I'm not moving anywhere, pal. I was like, you've got me 500 quid and you've got me mower. Um, you know, I'm not going. And he was like, well, yeah, well, you best leave or I'll phone the police. I was like, we'll phone the police. You know, I'm not nothing to hide. You're the one that's just done a, done a dirty deal. So yeah, I've got, got on the phone to my brother. He's about an hour away and he said, yes, I'll come there now. You know, and you bring up, bring a couple of my mates up and we'll see what happens. But yeah, at the moment, he's just nicked me mower and took me 500 quid. <laughs> you know, lesson learned there, I think. Shows you, innit? Trying to be nice and trying to do something nice for people and then this is what happens. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted anyway. this on my phone uh, as you can see there I'll give you a quick rundown of what happened so uh, I sold the machine on the weekend it would have been Saturday yeah Saturday it was so I sold the machine on Saturday I had a young couple turn up interested in the mower um, went through it showed them all working yeah they were happy uh, they wanted it delivering so I delivered it to them uh, same day um, I dropped it off and when I got there it wasn't the people I initially dealt with it was a family member of these two people and um, it was a mum I think who was buying the machine and they came to view it on her behalf sort of thing um, and then there was a son there as well anyway so I dropped the machine off uh, collected the money but when I got there I realised I was like ah they bought a small domestic mower and they had quite a fair bit of land a, bit, a fair bit of grass to cut and it was quite high up you know so I was a bit like, I think she's going to struggle on that. I said, look, keep it on the highest level, first gear, really steady, you know, just go easy with it and you'll be fine. Anyway, I get to a phone call about an hour and a half later, just I'd got home. Oh, uh, we've snapped the belts on it, the drive belt, uh, the deck cutting belt. I was like, right, okay. I was like, you know, um, what do you want me to do about it? Sort of attitude, really. Um, you know, I'd said everything sold as seen, but first first hour of mowing if something you know you feel bad don't you so and they've they were nice people so i said yeah no problem i'll cover that cost i'll send you one up in the post or well i actually offered to bring one back i said look i've got one with me i'll run it back to you now no no enjoy your weekend um just send one up in the post is a long way for you to come back and i said yeah no problem i said if you're confident of fitting it you know you can um, fit it or whatever or if not i'll come back and fit it for you on site no problem so i get to uh, Monday comes, I put a belt in the post and I sent him a free leaf blower as well, like a free, you know, a goodwill gesture. I thought, right, no, no, you've been nice about it. You know, you've had a bit of an issue with it. I'll try and sort it out. Here's a little little sweetener. Do apologise, you know. Um, and then I get to a message then further on in, in the Monday. So they haven't received the belt yet because I only sent it on Monday. Uh, oh, we bought a belt from the local mower shop. We fitted it and uh, he snapped it again. And we're not happy with this machine. It's not for us. You know, we've we've bought the wrong machine. It's it's not up to the job. We do apologise for messing you around. Is there any way you can buy it back? And I said, yeah, no problem. I said I don't usually do this, but in this instance, you've been nice about it. Yeah, of course, I'll buy it back. They paid eight hundred and fifty quid. I said, look, for me to buy it back, and obviously I've got to come and collect it again. I give you five hundred quid because now I've got to replace belts on it, etc. You've had it for a couple of days. You've knackered it up. Anyway, um, they agreed, no problem. Yeah, we understand we're gonna have to make a loss on it. You know, it's our fault, we bought the wrong thing. So I went back on the Tuesday. I went to collect the machine on the Tuesday, um, turned up and they were a bit funny. The son was there, the mum was there. And um, I said, right, so what's happening? I wanted them to have a look really, to see if there was a problem with the machine or if it was user error or so anyway, so I quickly had a look, realised the chute was clogged up, so I pulled the chute out and then straight away I seen the grass. It must have been five, six inches long. So I thought, so you've not done what I said. You haven't cut it at the top setting first. You've cut it on the lower setting and you've tried to do it all in one go. So I know what he's done. Anyway, so I, I said, right, so I unclogged the chute. I, I got underneath, made sure the blades was for free and the belt hadn't snapped. It just melted slightly where it's been slipping because it's obviously been getting hot. Um, I said, am I all right to have a go and test it? He said, yeah, all right. Thinking a bit weird, but I know, so I went cutting. 
and I caught a big chunk of his grass for him. I did the highest setting first gear and I went cut in and I caught a load of it and I did a couple of strips and then I went down to the next setting down and cut it again and, and just started doing it in stages. And I was like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the machine, it's fine. You know, you've obviously just tried to do too much too soon. Uh, yeah, all right, anyway, and he started undoing me trailer, like, no, no, you're having it back. I was like, yeah, no problem, I'll have it back, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with my machine. And he started then using words like, not fit for purpose, and I was thinking, hang on, what's going on here? Like, and I should have known at that point, I should have known, but I thought, no, no, he's just, you know, whatever. So I was about to load it on, he went, well, I, well pay the money first. He's like, how oh, you pay? You transfer it or you paying cash? Well, I said, well, no, no, it's all right, mate. You know, you paid me cash, I'll, the money's still here. I haven't even took it in the bank yet, it's here. Um, so I, I've got 500 quid out, give it to his mum. And he pretended that he was like, nothing really to do with it. As soon as I give the money across, he went, well, how much, have you, how much does he give you there? Like, why would you ask that question if you... So anyway, he knew, didn't he, that I'd agree to pay less. And I said 500 quid, like we agreed, your money's there, you know. And he went, well, you're not having your mower back. What, you think you can just come here and give 500 quid and take the mower back? We've paid 850 for it. Like, you're ripping me off. You think you can come here and rip me mum off? I was like, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. And I went back to get me money. I went, whoa, 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 and, and straight away, he said, go in the house, go in the house. So she scarped off with the money, and he still got, he still sat on the mower. And I was like, oh, and he went, well, you're not getting your mower back, shouting and swearing. Uh, you're not getting your mower back unless you give us the full money. And I was like, hang on a minute, what's going on here? I said, no, 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 we agreed 500 quid. I said, yeah, you go and get me 500 quid back or I'm taking the mower as it is. That's what, you know, there's nothing wrong with the machine. I've just showed you it working. And he went, yeah, but it, it's flat by there. All down there, it's all lumpy and it wasn't working down there. And I'm like, well, that's not my fault. You've bought a mower that's for gardens and you're trying to use it on unsuitable ground. It was all up and down and lumpy and horrible. And he's like, you need a flail mower. Anyway, um, yeah, so he's jumped on the mower and he's, he's drove it off. And I went to stop and I thought, hang on, what's going on here? So I was like, right, I just give him his money back, you know, just to get out of there. And, and I don't know what come over me. I, I just seemed to just give in too quickly. I thought, ah, oh, just whatever. I was tired, and it was the end of the day and everything. And I, so in the end, I just said, yeah, all right, Jack didn't even have enough money with me. And then I thought, right, he was like, you have to transfer me the money. In the meantime, he's gone and he's put them over in his shed and he's locked it in his shed. And he went, well, you're not having your money back. And then he went, right, well, well, I want you off my property now. Like, get off my property and all that. I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I was like, you've got me mower and me money. I was like, I'm not moving. And at that point, I thought, e whatever I do, he's not going to give me that machine back. He's going to just try it on, you know. So I said, no, nah, I'm not sending you the money. I rang, the, rang home and I said, look, come up in it. Got onto a couple of mates and said, look, do us a favour, come down here and just give his hand. I was like, this isn't going to go well, you know, I need a bit of help here, recover this mower. Um, so within an hour, because I was about an hour and a half away with a trailer, they got there with, got to me with an hour. So my brother came and a couple of my mates who helped me out, you know. Um, they dropped everything and came straight for me and I thought, proper, appreciate, you know, with good mates. And they were only there just in case something went wrong. I was on my own, I was in the middle of nowhere, and I thought, right, I could do with a bit of help here. Um, so anyway, they turned up. I said, look, give me the money. I took the money off my brother. He bought me a bit more money I needed. And I went to the house, I said, look, there you go. And he went, right, well, give me my money. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, go get the mower, get it out of the shed, and get it on the forecourt here. So, you know, I know I'm getting it back. No. No, I'm not getting the mower till you give me the money. And I was like, I ain't giving you a penny until you're doing this. And then he's going, right, well, I'll call the police. I was like, just phone the police. I'm not interested. And then he's seen I had me mates and he, around. And he went, oh, you brought all your mates. He's like, oh, like that is it. So now you're threatening me. I was like, my mates were just stood there silently. I was like, they were they're only there just in case he tried it on. So, um eventually he went and got the mower out of the shed because he realised what was going to happen and then that was it his phone come out then he starts recording he's like oh, I'm recording you now because you're threatening me I was like I am threatened anyone I was like you the one that was threatening me um, that's why I phoned for my mates to come and give me a hand and then um, eventually he went and got the machine out of his shed and I was like and he said I'll take it there you pay me mum and I was like I'm not paying anyone so you get, bring the mower put it there get off it and move and walk back you know 
and I'll give you your money. I want to make sure that I've got this machine before I give you anything. Um, so yeah, so in the end I managed to get the mower. Me mate, we got it loaded on and I give him his money. And that was it then. As soon as he had the money, he just like the big smug look on his face, you know, of like, ha, you know, you come here, you rip me off, you, you, my mum's got cancer, this, that and the other. And he was just shouting and threatening and swearing and like, get off the property. I'm like, well, I'm loading the mower on, mate. I can't, I've got it. It's going to take me two minutes to get the thing on the trailer and strap it down. And he just went off on one, you know. And then... Um, yeah, so I just got out of there in the end, so I've got my machine back, but now I've got to put all new belts on it, I've got to clean it all again, because it's hanging now, he's battered it, and I'm like, ah, why did I get involved, why didn't I just say, no, no, it's sold the scene, it was working when I dropped it off, I showed you it working, if you've knackered it up, that's your fault, you know, so this is what I ended up having to do anyway, so I've now got my mower back and all the rest of it, so I'm not in a bad position, but I'm now down, what, 100 quid in diesel, 50 quid there, 50 quid back, and then, you know, 50 quid again to come pick the thing up, and now I've got to put belts on it, and so I don't know if I did the right thing there, I don't even know what to do, should I phone the police, because you, you, he knew what he was doing, he was straight on it, oh, it's a civil matter, and you can't do anything, and all this sort of stuff, and I thought, ah, right, so, he, he, you know, he's done that before, and he wasn't his first time, you could say he knew all the wording to use, and he was clever about what he'd done, and they like say they let me have me let me believe I was coming up there to just peck the mower up you know give them their 500 quid and you know I'd have dealt with it because I've got to put new belts on it and put it back right before I can sell it again and all this sort of stuff and they obviously knew full well what they were doing say whatever get me there and then take the money and then run in the house with it and then not give me the mower back you know so I don't know what to do from here now I'm tempted to uh, invoice them the 350 quid because you owe me 350 quid now because that wasn't the deal and in the meantime while this has gone on all these messages were over whatsapp you know so i've got all the communications of them agreeing that was it then they're trying to they're deleting the messages because they're, they're going on me thing they've been deleted so i've screenshotted them anyway so i've got the the information there that we agreed on and all that sort of stuff um but yeah so now i'm a bit i've got my mobile back so i'm a bit happier now but this was the other day so it was an absolute nightmare but what I have done, I've put him all over my social media. Um, I know a lot of people in the area, and they all know I sell machinery, and I try. I've got good customers. I try. Not, I've got five star feedback on all my platforms. Um, I try my best to help people, you know. But you end up with these bad apples, don't you? And then all of a sudden, you're the one to blame. And you know, I've ripped him off apparently, where he was trying to keep my mower and get 500 and then keep the mower you know and I thought nah not a chance so I don't know what to do about it really do I invoice him or do I report him but where would I report him to and you know it's that thing now and it at the time should did I do the right thing I was more worried about my safety my safety and my mates my equipment my trailer I thought just for the couple of hundred just give me his money and then get out of there you know but I wanted to make sure I got my machine I didn't want to give him any more money without him then not getting it out of the shed and then I've got to break entry to get my own. I thought, no, no, I'm not doing that. Um, and my mates were there just in case he decided to, you know, throw his weight around as he was doing. Um, yeah, so I knew then at that point, you know, we were getting that mower, you know, we were coming home with either the 500 quid or the machine. So this is what happened, but yeah. Um, just another little short video, a midweek video of just what happened to me the other day. So I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment and you let me know what you think I should have done in that situation. Did I do the right thing by ringing my mates or should I have just gone a bit nasty on him and just took the machine or, but I'm trying to do a reputable business. I don't, I'm not in it. I'm not here for that, you know. I just want to do normal business, get meet nice people, do deals, make money and go on with my life. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.